Hi, so we are working in chapter three and this is example number two. Here we have an arrange of cables holding this lamp. So we have two joints here, one joint that have three cables, and this joint over here that has two cables and the cable that holds actually the lamp of the weight. And we have the uh, mass of that lamp, which is 20 kilograms. And they are, are asking us to find the tension in all the cables. So the first thing we will do is do our free body diagrams. So I will do the free body diagram of point C, or joint, let me call it joint C, and I will do the free body diagram of joint D. And here, so if we draw that join over here, we see that we have three cables. We have the cable, which is a tension, CB. Then we have a tension, which is tension CA. And then we have the tension DCD. And we have the value of the angle. Since this is 45 degrees, this is also 45 degrees. So let me draw them in another color. So so this is 45 degrees. And here we have this angle over here. If we call it theta, we know that the cosine of theta is equals to the adjacent over hypotenuse, which will be 3 over 5. And the sine of theta will be the opposite over the hypotenuse, which be 4 over 5. So we have. The 45 degrees that we have theta, and here we have the values of psi and cosine. But as you see, in this free body diagram, we have three unknowns, which are the three tensions. And for, party, well, for particles, we only have two equations of equilibrium. So we cannot start with this free body diagram because we have too many unknowns. So let's draw this free body diagram and see if we can start in this free body diagram. So we have our joint. And then we have our tension over here, tension DE. We have our tension, tension CD. And then we have our weight. Those two are reactive forces. And then we have the weight. Even though it's a tension, I'm going to draw it in a different color because it's known. This weight, which is this mass times the gravity, will give me that tension. So this is the weight, which is already 20 times 9.81, so newtons. So it's already a value that I know. It's not a reactive force, it's an active force, which is the weight of that lamp. As I, you see in this free body diagram, we have only two unknowns, because this angle is also known, so we will have the direction of this tension. So we have only two unknowns, which are the magnitudes of those two tensions. So therefore, for free body diagram of D, I will do the equations of equilibrium. So I will start with this free body diagram. And I will add forces. Let me do it in blue. Add forces in X. Which is my X? It's very important that we know which are our coordinate system, which is this X and Y. And this is X and this is Y. Therefore, we have negative DCD plus tension DE cosine of 30 equals C. And then we add forces in Y, and that gives me. This is, has only component in X, so it doesn't appear in the equation for Y. And this one here has a component in Y, which is the opposite to that angle, which is then D, the E sine of 30, which we know is a half, one half, minus the weight, which is 29.81. So from here, you see that this second equation allows us to find this tension. Then we plug this tension over here, we, we find that one. So 
if we solve system of equation we get the results let me write the results already so we get that the tension over here the tension the e is equals to 392 newtons and the tension cd is equals to 340 newtons so we found that we have these two values solving this system of equation so we got we were able to find this value and this value for action and reaction the tension that is pulling this joint is the one that is pulling this joint so this tension is equals to this tension over here therefore now i can solve this free body diagram because before i had three unknowns but since i already found one i will i will be able to find the other two now i have only two unknowns in this free body diagram therefore i will do the same that i did for the free body diagram of joint d i will do it for joint c so for let me do it over here so i can have the whole space for free body diagram of the point or joint C, I will do my equations of equilibrium. Then I add forces in X, and they will be equals to zero. So which forces do I have in X over here? I have this force over here, which I already know. And then I have two negative forces but only in X component, right? So I will take this component of the two forces. So I will say negative T AC cosine, because it's the adjacent, and the cosine is 3 fifths, right? And then, well, and then I have this over here is also negative, is T CD cosine of 45, which is square root of three over uh, square root of two over two and that is equals to zero now i do the same but for y and i have for y I have this is this force does not contribute the uh, equation in y because it doesn't have any co components in y is all the force is in the x direction so i have dac now I have to use the sine of this angle because it's this component which I will uh, put in the y direction and the sine is 4 fifth. Negative this component over here and this is sine of 45. And that's equals to zero. So I have a system of equations with two, this one is known, no, this one is not known, this one is known. This one is known, which we know is 340, so we plug out this number over here, and then solve for those two, solving the system of equation, right? So now solve system of equations, and we get these two other values. So here we get, and I have the values over here, the tension CV is equals to 275 newtons, and the tension AC is equals to 243 newtons. And those are the values we were looking for. So we were able to find the tension first in this cable, in these two cables, and when we found this cable, we were able to move to this three body diagram and find these two other tensions. So this is the solution of this problem.